Hi, my name is Maya Farid, and I'm a solar astrophysicist. I work as a project scientist at NSF's National Center for Atmospheric Research. I study the sun's outer atmosphere, which is called the corona. Part of my job is studying small eruptions called solar jets. Learning about these small eruptions can help us understand larger eruptions like coronal mass ejections. I also help manage the geoscience network for leaders of research programs. I also do community outreach and connect with minority serving institutions. This aspect of my job is, is a big part of what brought me to NSF NCAR. My career path is long and winding and a bit unconventional. I wouldn't have been successful without the support of people who believed in me and a large of, amount of what I call one more try. I grew up in rural Alabama where the night sky is really bright. I wanted to understand the universe and I was fascinated by questions like why are we here? As a child, I hadn't heard of astrophysics, and I certainly didn't know that astronomy could be an actual career. I thought I would do astronomy as a hobby and have some other career. I was interested in classes like physics and calculus in school, but I didn't always excel in those courses, so I had some doubts about whether I could be a scientist. I thought you had to be a 4.0 student to make it as a scientist. Fortunately, I had several teachers and professors that noticed my talents, but I also experienced some discouragement from others that made me question my ability. I started out at Tuskegee University on a physics scholarship, but then transferred to Alabama A&M University after my freshman year. Alabama A&M had a larger physics program and it gave me the opportunity to minor in space science. As an undergrad, I did internships every summer and gained a lot of experience doing research. I stayed at Alabama A&M for my master's degree. It was during my master's degree that I started working in solar physics. At that point, I still wasn't sure if I should continue working in science uh, I decided to get more work experience to see if it was a fit for me. Much to my surprise, I was offered a job as a support scientist with the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Cambridge, known as CFA. As a kid, I had heard about CFA in documentaries, science articles, and in magazines, so I couldn't believe that I would get to work there as a scientist. After a couple years at CFA, I enrolled in the astrophysics program at the University of New Hampshire. The culture shock was a lot and my mental health suffered. I had always struggled with mental health, but at the time I had no idea that this was the underlying issue. Because of the isolation, I found myself at one of the lowest points in my life, so I withdrew after two years. Over the next several years, I moved between research positions in different states and also became a single parent. So I returned to Alabama to be closer to my family and worked as a support scientist at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. After a few years with much encouragement from my mentor, who is also my graduate advisor, I re-enrolled in a PhD program. I returned to CFA as a pre-doctoral fellow and completed my doctorate from Vanderbilt University in 2020. Then I did a postdoctorate at Yale and finally accepted a position with the High Altitude Observatory here at NSF NCAR. What I love most about my job is looking at solar data. I never get tired of looking at videos of solar eruptions. It's just so amazing. I love solving puzzles and figuring out how things work. Understanding solar eruptions is like trying to arrange pieces of a huge puzzle. I also enjoy the education part of my job as well because I love talking to people about science. When I'm not looking at solar data, I like to play board games and I spend a lot of time with my family. I also like thrifting and failing at DIY projects. And in case you were wondering, I like Star Trek, but not Star Wars. I'm a big sci-fi fan. I like how the stories integrate technology and human struggle. My work on solar eruptions helps us better understand the sun earth system. And my work with the Geoscience Network helps make undergraduate research experiences better. I hope that my work will also contribute in some small way to help us understand how the universe works. I also hope to dismantle barriers that keep everyday people from accessing science and using it to improve our lives. Science is for everyone. You don't need a PhD or even a high school diploma to appreciate it. I also think science should be used to make our world a better place and a more harmonious place. I'm excited about all the cool things we discover when everyone is allowed to contribute.